Ja, das war ähm, 97, war ich glaube 18. Juni 1997, da sowieso bekennender Michael Jackson Fan und äh, da hatte ich das Glück, äh, wo ich damals in Italien gewohnt habe, sind wir nach Mailand, da war das Michael Jackson Konzert, da war ich mit meinem, meinem äh, Vater, Schwester, Bruder und einem sehr guter Freund von mir und dann hat er zu mir gesagt, hey schau mal, da ist deine Lieblingsgitarristin, weil meine Gitarre heißt ja Jennifer, meine allererste Gitarre. Ne? Dann hätte er jetzt zum Beispiel gesagt, hey, schau mal, in 19 Jahren hast du eine eigene Musikschule. Ne? Dann hätte ich gedacht, okay, du spinnst, weil ich war eben, ich habe gerade angefangen oder beziehungsweise bei meinen ersten Scales. Und dann hätte er noch dazu gesagt, und die Jennifer Batten wird in deinem fünfjährigen Jubiläum bei dir sein in der Schule und spielen. Ne? Die hätte ich den zwangsverwiesen quasi. Ne? <lacht> it all into my workshops, everything I've been through. Uh, you know, I open up to questions. A lot of people want to know about the career and how, how to get famous. You know, that's a, that's a popular one. Um, and so I, I have a ton of stories and a ton of experience to share. And I've given, you know, hundreds and hundreds of workshops and it's really morphed over the years. In the beginning, I think it was more theory and technique and that kind of stuff, and now it's it's really morphed into more of a imparting a, a deeper level of music, and you know really digging into yourself and making it a personal statement when you play. <laughs> I've done a couple thousand workshops around the world, and it's it's always it's a lot more fun to do it in smaller towns than cities. They get everything all the time. You know, it's so far it's it's been great. Red carpet, yeah. <laughs> red carpet, gourmet meals. I think it's the first time I've ever had a candle in my dressing room. I could get used to this. Yeah. Back in my day, I was one of those people that, that took an LP record and took the needle back and back 500 times to learn a solo. <laughs> My sister told me years after I was doing those solos in the beginning, do you have any idea how irritating that was? But only, only somebody that really wants it would have the patience to, to listen to something hundreds of times because you're internalizing it and there's, you're feeling the vibrations through your body and there's an uplifting element to that. <laughs> 